Hi folks, the advance information came out today, the 7th of Feb, so I just put, I, uh, thought I put a video out across paper one and paper two initially, just explaining that advance information for the psychology A-level for AQA. Okay, so first thing just to say is the advice that's been given by AQA in terms of the advance information. So in terms of teaching, the aim is that all specification areas should still be taught and that's because there might be a synoptic element to some different areas that's to say where an area that's being taught can be used somewhere else as well that second bullet point does seem to infer if we just read through it, it says students and teachers can consider how to focus their revision on other non-listed parts of the specification i.e those not given on the advanced information for example to review whether topics may provide knowledge which helps understanding in relation to the areas being tested so the inference that I would make from that is it's only on the areas listed that will be tested in the 2022 examination and then in terms of all specification areas those are useful in kind of synoptic areas you know for example something like within issues and debates so within issues and debates for example very much you're going to draw in lots and lots of different areas that aren't on that bullet point list Let's just take a look then at what we've got for the different um, topics. So if we start with the paper one topics, what you can see at the top there is the advanced information and below that is the spec. So the advanced information just has three out of the six bullet points for social. So what's not included is basically what I've underlined there. So we've got types and explanations of conformity, not included, ash, not included, Zimbardo, not included, and the final bullet point, the role of social influence processes and social change is not included. So there's only three bullet points from the social spec that are included on the advanced information. Explanations of obedience, which obviously includes Milgram, the dispositional explanation for obedience with the authoritarian personality, and then the explanation of resisting social influence, social support, locus of control, and minority influence. Those are the only three that have been given. So with memory as well, we've gone from six bullet points on the original specification to three. In terms of what's been cut out, the types of long-term memory has gone, the explanations for forgetting has gone, uh, and the factors affecting eyewitness testimony, including all of those kind of misleading information, etc. So what we've got left is basically the multistore model of memory, the working memory model and the cognitive interview for those. Attachment's slightly different because in attachment they've only actually lost one bullet point, which is the caregiver infant interaction, reciprocity and interactional synchrony, stages of attachment and the role of the father. Everything else in attachment is listed there on the advance information. So a slight difference in terms of what's been cut for attachment uh, related to social and memory. For the psychopathology, we've gone from five to three bullet points. And what we've lost is the behavioral, cognitive and emotional characteristics of the disorders and the cognitive approach to explaining and treating depression. So what you're left with is all the definitions of abnormality, the behaviorist approach to explaining and treating phobias and the biological approach to explaining and treating OCD. In approaches, you've lost the top part of approaches, the origins of psychology, VUNT, introspection, etc. We've also lost all of the cognitive approach and related areas, and it's the same for the biological approach, so all gone. And the comparison is also gone, so we're left with the learning approaches, so classical operant conditioning, social learning theory, psychodynamic approach, and humanistic psychology. The biopsych, we've lost quite a lot. Um, what we're left with is the divisions of the nervous system, structure and function of neurons, including um, neurotransmission. We've lost the function of the endocrine system. We've lost the fight or flight response. Localization of function still there. Brocker and Wernick is still there. Split brain research like Sperry is still there. Plasticity and functional recovery is still there. We've got ways of studying the brain, but what we've lost, and some, some students, be, teachers will be glad of this as well, is the biological rhythms section circadian infradian and ultradian as well as that extra bit on endogenous pacemakers and zygebers 
Last part of paper two is research methods and there is no advanced information, which means anything is still fair game in research methods for the examination. So really important for your revision there in terms of focus. OK, so that's it for now. I will be putting one up for paper three as well, and I'll let you know any more information in due course as when it comes through.